we're now going to take all the spaghetti lines and we're going to hook them up to the connectors. I'm now going to take the spaghetti line and just feed it up through the holes. And attach drippers. After attaching all the drippers, if you want you can drill a hole for a drain plug and this will help you to fill up your reservoir when it gets low. It just makes it a little easier than lifting up the, the lid and having a bunch of roots underneath. After the dripper is in, you add the net pots to your system. You can put some of your hydrotin into the bottom of each net pot. Once you have your seedlings growing inside your rock wall, once the plants are you know, about an inch or two high and you have some roots hanging out of the bottom, you want to put some hydrotin in the bottom of the net pot. Put the rock wall on the bottom and then just fill the surroundings of your net pot up with hydrotin. When doing this, it's very important to cover the top of your rock wall because once the light reaches the top, it'll be all moist and you'll grow algae. But if it's covered, it's impossible for algae to, to grow. So you'd want it covered like this with your plant just coming out of the middle. Kind of like these ones. The next stage would be to add in your drippers. You just take your drippers and put them into the sides. The reason I'm putting these down so far is that this particular system is going to pour water versus dripping it. And the advantage of having water that's pouring is that you'll never have a chance for your drippers to clog up because it's constantly moving and your roots get a constant flow of nutrients. When filling the, the system up with the water, you want to go up about three quarters of the way with your water and nutrients and then the next thing is just to plug it in and you have your hydroponic system all set up and ready to go.